Welcome to the video on Reading and Understanding Tables from Service Provision Assessment Surveys, also known as SPA Surveys. Service Provision Assessment Surveys gather information from health facilities to assess service readiness and the quality of care at health facilities in a country. In this video, we will be looking at a table from the 2014-15 Tanzania Service Provision Assessment Survey, or the 2014-15 TSPA. You can access a free electronic copy of the 2014-15 TSPA final report on the DHS program website. Step 1 is to read the title and subtitle of the table. They provide a brief description of the information contained in the table. The title of the table is Table 3.3, Availability of Basic Amenities for Client Services. The title provides a very basic description of the information contained in the table. The subtitle of the table is, Among all facilities, the percentages with indicated amenities considered basic for quality services by background characteristics, Tanzania SPA 2014-15. As you may have noticed, the subtitle contains more information than the title. The first thing the subtitle tells you is the denominator for the table. In this case, the denominator is all facilities that were surveyed in the 2014-15 T-SPA. The second thing the subtitle tells you is that the amenities included in this table are considered basic for quality services. The third thing the subtitle tells you is how the data are presented. Finally, the subtitle tells you the country and survey year. Step 2 is to scan the column headings, which are the top horizontal row. The columns summarize the indicators being measured. This table has eight columns of data. Each of the first seven columns of data represents one basic amenity. You can see that most column headers have a superscript number which corresponds to a footnote at the bottom of the table. For example, the number 4 next to client latrine means that the facility has a functioning flush or poor flush toilet, a ventilated improved pit latrine, or composting toilet. The eighth column of data, in gray, lists the number of facilities in each category. These numbers are the denominators, that is, the total number of facilities surveyed for each topic and background characteristic. In SPA tables, the denominators are highlighted in gray to distinguish them from the other data. It is particularly important to check the denominators in SPA tables. Some questions are asked of all facilities, like our example of basic amenities for client services. In other cases, only facilities that report offering a specific service are asked follow-up questions about that service. For example, only health facilities that say they offer family planning services are asked about the availability of family planning methods. Step 3 is to scan the row headings, which are the first vertical column. The row headings show how the information is presented. In the case of the 2014-15 Tanzania SPA, the information is presented by the following background characteristics. Facility type, managing authority, urban rural residents across Tanzania, urban and rural residents in mainland and Zanzibar, and region. These categories allow you to compare the availability of services in hospitals versus clinics, government versus private for-profit facilities, or among the regions. The rows also show how many facilities of each type were surveyed. In other words, the denominators for each row. The 2014-15 TSPA surveyed 1,188 health facilities. Of these 1,188 surveyed facilities, 46 are hospitals, 129 are health centers, 992 are dispensaries, and 21 are clinics. Step 4 is to find the total percentages. In this table, they can be found at the very last row at the bottom of the table. These figures represent the total percentages, also known as the national average. That is, the percent of all facilities that have each of the seven amenities. This table shows that 68% of all facilities have an improved water source, 94% have visual and auditory privacy, and 12% have a computer with internet. To find out what percentage of government health facilities have emergency transport, draw two imaginary lines. The first line extends from the row for government health facilities. The second line extends from the column for emergency transport. 
we can see that 58% of government health facilities have emergency transport. Let's do some practice questions. What type of facility is most likely to have communication equipment? Hospitals. 94% of hospitals in Tanzania have communication equipment. In which region are health facilities most likely to have regular electricity? Kigoma. 99% of health facilities in Kigoma have regular electricity. One final question. How many health facilities were surveyed in rural mainland areas? Eight hundred and thirty-eight health facilities were surveyed in rural mainland areas.